What's up, YouTube family? CJ here with the Centipede Grass Channel. Want to take a little time today to go over grass seed. Grass seed is important to me because uh, I oversee my lawns every year, uh, my lawn and my customers' lawns. And I do that because I, I don't believe in putting chemicals on the lawn. I, I handle all of my lawns organically, um, but I do use grass seed kind of as my pre-emergent. Of course, if I have uh, a dense lawn uh, full of grass blades, it'll outcompete the weeds and uh, it, it'll serve kind of as a pre-emergent, you know, if you choose to handle your lawn organically. Um, since I do so many square feet, you know, myself and my customers, the grass seed that I see like in Lowe's and Home Depot or just your regular department stores like that, it doesn't really work for me because those bags tend to only cover like 2,000 square feet. If you ever look on the back of those bags, uh, they're like full of filler, um, inert, inert matter or whatever it says. Uh, but it's it's not pure grass seed, and uh, if 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 you find a, a brand that's not so good, you'll even notice that it has like some weed seed or or other products in it that you're definitely not looking for. You know what I mean? So um, I'm gonna take the time today to show you the grass seed I use. We'll look at the back of the label, uh, see why I like it, and you know you make your own choice from there. So this Tiff Blair is my favorite brand. Uh, it is a cultivar, so it has been modified through radiation to be a better performing grass seed. Um, some of the modifications is that it grows better in cold weather, which allows me to start overseeding earlier in the year. Uh, also, it works better with with uh, low pHs and it has a, a better germination rate. And over here is the important part that I like to look at. And this is going to be on the back of any grass seed label that you look at. But look at the amount of pure seed, all right? It's up at 46%. Um, in comparison, you look at a lot of the brands that you see in Lowe's and uh, your Pennington's and, and, and similar products, they're only like around 10%. And they have a lot of what they call like coated matter. You know, they, they, they say that it's mulch. And I guess that's fine if you are, um, if you're like trying to cover a bare spot, a small bare spot on the lawn and you need the grass seed covered, but if you have a lawn that's established and you just want to oversee, you know, little spots that may be in the lawn, you're just going to throw that grass seed out there and you're not going to, well, me personally, I don't go back and, you know, put mulching all over it. It, it. It's not a bare spot. For me, it's much more important to be able to cover a large area. Uh, let's look at this bag. I believe this bag does 20,000 square feet. All right. So I paid 200 bucks for this bag. It does 20,000 square feet. That same 200 bucks had I spent in that Lowe's would have got me 8,000 square feet. And like I said, I do this commercially. I do this for customers. I do this for uh, lawns that are 10,000 square feet, 20,000 square feet. I, HOAs that are 40, 50, 60,000 square feet. Could you imagine the amount of money I would spend? Um, if I didn't get a, a, a seed that was pure seed and, and, and not a bag full of inert matter. So just think about that when you're shopping for your grass seed. Again, this is Tiff Blair. This is a centipede grasses cultivar, but everybody, every, every grass strand has a cultivar. Um, I know a lot of people have Bermuda grass and they use Mohawk, I want to say is their cultivar. And, um, Let's see, Zoysia has one that's like competitor or champion or something like that. And I, I I mainly deal with centipede grass. I have one lawn that does have a little mix of like centipede, Bermuda, and a little bit of St. Augustine. But for the most part, I deal with centipede grass. So that's why the channel is called the Centipede Grass Channel. And that's mostly where my expertise are going to be. Um, but yeah, be mindful of your grass seed. When you picking up your grass seed in the uh, department stores, definitely look on the back and read that label and make sure it's comparable for what you're trying to do. Again, if you just have a little small area, uh, a bag that covers 2,000 square feet for 50 bucks may be fine for you. Um, but you can actually buy a bag of this uh, and cover 5,000 square feet for those same 50 bucks and you know be able to do more of your lawn and just buy a bag of mulch and cover it and come off much better um things like this i do get this off of amazon um but uh if you have um like a what do you call those things if you have a um like a nursery or somewhere around 
they usually sell this. Uh, we do have a nursery here, down here in Georgia that does sell it. And also um, stores where you get, you know, things for sprinkler repairs and things like that. Specialty stores are usually carry a cultivar brand. brand. So I uh, hope this helps. If you're not overseeding your lawn, even if you don't care for your lawn organically, definitely overseed your lawn. Uh, grass plants get old just like we do. And uh, it's just good to have new fresh roots in the ground. Um, so, hey, until the next video, we'll be going over uh, how I take care of my lawns in the winter. Uh, I'll see you in two weeks. Peace.